Good afternoon there everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, uh, coming at you with a uh, little bit of a review uh, for X Rebirth, which actually just released uh, yesterday evening, uh, well morning I should say actually, so that would be uh, early, early Friday. Uh, so it has been uh, quite a short time since it's released, but I've already uh, spent many an hour into it, uh, probably more than most people actually, uh, who have actually picked up this game. Now, before I get into the game itself, let me uh, enlighten you a bit on my uh, on my past with the X games. I, I started with X uh, X3 Reunion, and I played the hell out of that game. I originally it, it originally kicks you out into the big black unknown and says, you know, figure it out yourself, learn how to play the game, and doesn't really get didn't really give you any tutorial back then. And I kind of shelved it for a bit. I came back at it later really just dug into it, decided to really learn it and get going with it, and it turned out to be my absolute favorite space game, almost at, pretty much ever actually. And uh, from there we went on to the uh, to the next games in the series, Terran Conflict and Albion Prelude, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed Terran Conflict as well, and I, I've put at least a couple, several hundred if not a thousand hours into the X series in their entirety so far. And, uh, you know, it was always a great, a great uh, game series that is well supported by the community and the developers as well. And uh, they decided to make a lot of changes when we brought on over to uh, X Rebirth here. And somebody's actually, yes, I am glutton for punishment. And one of the major changes that was actually something that was in the original and then they kind of removed for the other ones was that we only can fly a single ship in X Rebirth. That is all we can fly. We uh, do have other ships we can uh, have uh, AI control, but we only actually get the one ship. Um, and as well as there was some other, other things as well, we'll get to that as we go on. Now this is not going to be my typical review because honestly, there won't be as much into this as I would usually like to say, as I would usually like to do. Uh, this is mostly just going to be, I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to go past this menu because although I can show some of the gameplay, this is not a gameplay video, this is simply a discussion and a bit of a review over what is there. Um, so yeah, this is a completely different format than anything I've ever done before. So I do apologize if this is not up to your taste, if this is not uh, something that you, uh, you know, quite what you want to see for that. Uh, but we're just going to, you know, go with it as I can, as I can for that. Uh, but I will, I, will, I will do, actually I will do some of the gameplay, but anyway, I digress. Anyway, um... Now, I'm going to start off after that just saying, for all you lovely people, all you lovely fans of the X series out there, you know, all you hardcore awesome dudes who have also put all that out, all those ad many hours, and really anyone, anyone that wants to become, wants to get new into the series, just wants to dive into it, and really just have some fun in the space, uh, space simulator madness, I'm sorry. I am, I am truly, truly terribly, just terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. All right, so let's uh, let's actually just load this guy up here and just kind of go with it for now, as I uh, start to explain uh, some of this madness. Now, as you play the campaign in the game, you are kind of directed along a little bit. It starts to explain certain things. There are the typical launch bugs in the game that uh, cause you issues at times, uh, but generally speaking, those aren't too too horrible. Uh, I know a lot of higher end machines are having problems playing this game, uh, whereas medium and you know generally lower lower mid tiers are not as much. Uh, everyone around here hates me, but yeah, let's let's start with the uh, let's start with the positive side of things. The world is sexy. I mean, look at that. The universe is absolutely absolutely beautiful. The uh, oh, and I just rammed into that station. I apologize. Um, the audio is quite well done. Uh, voiceovers are fairly well done at times. We have my lovely co-pilot. Uh, the UI for this is pretty interesting. Uh, where we have our lovely shields over here as well as our hull, our current missiles, our uh, current weapon which we can swap out as we wish, and the current information screen for what we have selected. So it's a really, uh, really beautiful UI for at least this, par this portion of it. Uh, but then we start to get into everything else. When it, uh, well, let me actually no. Let's keep let's keep going with the with, with the good stuff for now. I guess keep going with the good stuff. Actually, no. That's almost that's almost it. That's literally almost it. Um, unfortunately, this is a game that suffers from many many issues. 
I have been greatly looking forward to this for a very long time, and it really, really kind of disappointed to say the least, sadly. Most of the core mechanics in the game just don't function very well at all. Uh, trading is a very difficult thing to do. Fighting is pretty pretty simple and basic. Unless you are overwhelmed by mass numbers, you're basically going to annihilate everything. Uh, just by flying around and blasting them, really. Uh, fighter drones, uh, the, the one issue with, you know, you're being stuck to one ship is, is honestly, it, it doesn't really make much of a difference because you can upgrade it fairly well uh, with a whole slew of uh, enhancements that, uh, you know, make it stronger. But even just as the basic ship with a couple of weapons you are given uh, early on in either the campaign or what you purchase in uh, free mode, uh, you are generally just going to be just destroying everything. Even even uh, larger ships, uh, you can easily just take out some hard points, you know, and uh, pretty much disable them. It's not it's not something that's too too difficult depending on the person. But yeah, a lot of the core mechanics in the game when it comes to that are just completely and utterly flawed. The UI is terrible. To access my, like before from the XX series, I would simply hit space, I would load up the, it would open up a menu on my left, I could click on my proper, or my personnel file, my property, I could locate exactly where my ships are, what they're doing, what's going on. Uh, now I just have to hit enter, and then we have all these little options here, which leads to other menus, buried in menus, uh, property owned would load up this lovely little side menu here, which doesn't really zoom in on it, so I can't really see too well. Uh, you would have to actually like look like move right up to the screen, and be like, wait, what's that? In a sense, now with some of these, you actually do have other ships you can control, and even with those ships, it's a very very clunky about how they actually operate. Uh, you can basically tell them to join your squad and they will they will follow you around and if you give them an order they'll they'll try and do it but it's such a such a difficult thing at time to uh, actually do so actually I'd probably give a better example by loading the proper save where I'm actually in the game with all the other uh... there we go yeah I'm already 22 hours into this game it's ridiculous and I am just so beyond disappointed with it sadly uh, but yeah, just uh, it's just I it's such a you have to suffer so much to accomplish anything. Uh, when it comes to uh, just basic trading, selling of resources, you know, finding out information, hiring people, you have to dock on so many different stations and you know walk around looking for your guy, uh, finding them, and oh wait no, turns out this guy is uh, aligned with uh, one of the you know corporations that doesn't like me, so I can't trade with them and I got to go somewhere else. Uh, like this basically is the station, one of the stations uh, that I'm talking about for that. So you end up, you have a, you get a bunch of stuff, there's two different types of trading, there's bulk trading which you do outside the station with large ships, and then there's item trading which is stuff you just find scattered out in space or in lockers which I've already opened so I can't loot again. And then you would come up to one of these guys, you'd be like, you know, I'm gonna sell things to you, he's a recruiting officer so he's not somebody I can sell things to. Yes, they weren't here not that long ago, indeed. And initially, you know, walking on a station was nice. You get to go to the uh, go to the bar and you know listen to the awesome music and just you know dance around and all that. And it's uh, even though there's no real dance uh, for yeah. See here, this would be the one person I would need to talk to, and I can't I can't talk to them or even do anything with them because they don't like me. Oh, slimy green lizardy things are hello pilot. That's terrible. What can that we is offer terrible. You? Uh, you can engage in small talk at times in order to actually, you know, uh, get a uh, bonus from them, a uh, deal from them, or possibly... Hmm. So you don't like Talati, huh? You so don't like Talati? girl's not allowed an opinion? <laughs> oh lord. Debunk stereotypes. I could go through this and possibly get a, uh, possibly get a discount from her, but obviously it's not worth it right now. So you end up constantly going to each of these stations, trying to offload your goods, find that one guy you need to talk to in order to do it, and it just becomes so ridiculously tedious at times to actually have to dock on the station, walk around, find those guys, sell it all off, leave the station, rinse and repeat, and if I actually go back and get out of here, stations themselves are just confusing as hell. Like before in the previous X games, let me actually get back to my ship, uh, in the previous X games, stations were these single objects in space. Uh, you would have a solar power plant, XL, a ore mine, 
you know, so on so forth. Now stations are these gigantic freaking complexes you see here. And it's like, okay, where can I trade? Where can I find my goods? What, uh, what do I, what am I supposed to do with 90% of this? It's like, it's just, they, they made things, they were trying to make this game simpler. Uh, well, it's starting to lag up a bit, which is odd because it shouldn't be. Uh, sorry about that, I digress. Let me stop moving my ship here. Uh, they tried to simplify this game, to bring in a newer audience, and instead of actually simplifying the game itself, they actually made it far more complicated and clunky uh, with the UI and everything. It was just a, literally in every, liter every aspect of the game that they tried to simplify it and make it you know, more accessible, they just, they just made it more difficult. Trading, uh, fighting is pretty sad. You have uh, police officers who try to scan your ship for illegal goods and they're ramming your ship constantly and getting pissed off you for it like it's all your fault. Uh, you have uh, missions where you have enemies attacking stations and uh, they'll just go up and again they'll just hug the station so when you go in and try to destroy them you may accidentally shoot the station a couple times and if you do it like just a little bit too much they will suddenly just completely practically war deck you and it's like why is that my fault and uh, there's also issues with uh, actual uh, communication pretty much you'll have ships when ships don't uh, or ships uh, when factions don't like you, they'll start attacking you outright, and you'll have the commanders of stations calling you up as you are trying to fight back. Be like, "Hey, we don't like that here. Why are you? Why are you fighting this guy? Hey, he's firing at me. It's not my fault. It is self-defense." And yet you have everyone in the area here just constantly calming you up, being like, "Hey, we don't accept that here. Hey, we don't like that here," and it just gets really ridiculously annoying. Uh, with with how often that's like you're my enemy. I don't want to receive these comms from you. I don't want to hear none of this BS. Why am I why am I constantly getting this from you? You're it's just ridiculous at times. And uh, literally, I have just been it has just been a uh, really uh, real massive test of my frustration just to try and get some basic uh, you know basic functionality out of some of the game. It's just generally saddening in that sense. I, I literally, I, I was greatly looking forward to this without without any kind of peer to it, and it just completely crushed me on every single aspect of the game, pretty much. Uh, there were a lot of game-breaking issues with the game at times, uh, with the main campaign, where it would just completely, you would not be able to progress, you'd have to save, quick load, save, quick load, in order to eventually, finally manage to just barely progress past it. I couldn't even get to the point of building a uh, station because it was just getting ri absolutely ridiculous at times, uh, sadly. And actually, speaking on stations, uh, with the previous X Games, you were able to build stations uh, pretty much wherever you wanted to. You would have, you know, you would look around, you'd see where the demand or the, you know, where they needed it, and you would uh, you would toss it down there wherever you wanted in the system and. You know, you'd be able to make use of it. You know, give it a give it a cargo ship to run for it and whatnot. But here you have specific building plots where you have to build stations. So it's not as freeform for that anymore. So literally, in almost every single way they could have, they have just completely shackled us uh, with restrictions in this game to uh, just so many different aspects of it. Sadly. Oh man, it's just it's terrible. Uh, now I should also mention that uh, you know there are specific trade ships. Uh, for certain goods, so at certain at times you need actual you need the actually specific trade ship to actually get things done. Like uh, for one thing, you can't actually do any mining unless you actually have a mining ship with you, because it needs to send out its drones and whatnot to collect the uh, collect the asteroid bits. I've tried to mine manually, and you can still get some things from the debris. Sometimes you you get lucky, and there's a drop of uh, diamonds or something in it, and that's not too bad. But generally speaking, it's just you, you can't do you can't do it unless you actually have the specific ship to uh, you know to do so, and so on and so forth. Now, all in all, there's uh, some of the interesting uh, features of it are, you know, of course, you can attack the hard points on ships, and this gets this gets interesting uh, at times. Ships and stations, I should say, at times when you want to disable a ship to take it over and whatnot. But even as it is with that, it eventually starts to get a little bit, a little bit redundant, a little bit repetitive, as you would imagine. 
after you've, you know, disabled your fifth or sixth ship, the exact same way you disable the last, you know, four ships. It just starts to get to a little monotonous in that, in that sense as well. So, man, I, honestly, I've been, I've been trying to keep up the good fight. I've been trying to keep as positive as I could with the, uh, with the series and hope that, you know, things, things would get better, things would get better. And honestly, I still have a hope that things will progress and get better over time. You know, the devs are going to continue to patch out the issues. They'll help, uh, you know, fix things up so that the uh, high-end machines aren't having all those problems that they're currently having. Uh, they will add in the features that people are requesting that we added back in. Uh, SATA uh, will eventually be added back in, which we don't currently have. We have this little uh, booster, basically, that allows you to use up your shields in order to go really quick, really fast around the area. But again, if you're waiting for your trade ship to dock with a place to make sure it's actually functioning, you need the SATA in that sense. Because, well, this is one really cool thing here with the how turrets actually literally deploy before they actually fire. That is actually a cool thing. You can go closer to stations. Uh, you can see them actually operating and functioning as they, you know, take in energy cells, fill energy cells, and then uh, store them away. So there's a lot of those little small details like that that do breathe a little bit of life and, you know, awesomeness into the game. But there's just way too many drawbacks right now, sadly. Far, far too many drawbacks that are currently preventing this game from being uh, as glorious as it should have been, uh, sadly. Uh, but it's literally, like, if I wanted to try and command a ship, it's just, you know, I have to go enter, I have to go uh, in info, and then, you know, property owned, and I'd have to locate the ship and contact the CO and be like, okay, call the pilot. Uh, why don't you just join my squad? I can't really tell him to go to point A, buy this, go to point B, sell there. I have to specifically go there, find this deal, tell them to trade it, go somewhere else, find somewhere else for them to go, tell them to sell it, and then maybe they will do it. Maybe they will do it. There has been quite a few issues when it comes to trading at times. Oh, man, I wish I had... I honestly wish I had better... Uh, better news with this game. This is more of a rant than a review, to be completely honest. But you know, what? This I just—it's all I got, man. It's all I honestly have at this point with this game. Um, so yeah, as we go down, uh, at, you know, a couple months from now, I'm sure when the uh, UI draw or UI, uh, when the actual modding tools drop and people can get in here and start, you know changing things in mass and adding all the uh, you know start fixing a lot of the major issues of the game I'm sure this will become a very excellent space sim but right now it just seems like they have taken all the features all the good features of the last games everything that worked for for the last several X games and made them as good as they were and they've just thrown them away to try and give you a faster paced fighting experience to get you in there get you fighting and that's all. It, that's, that's all it really is. All it, this is that's pretty much what this has become. Every other aspect of the game suffers, other than you flying around and just blasting shit. That's that's pretty much it. That is that is the only real aspect of this where it's not as not as terrible as just flying around and destroying shit. That's and that gets boring quickly in and of itself, honestly. Without, without the point, without the rest of those other core systems to be there, to function properly together and create harmony in a space empire sim of, you know, absolute insanity that the previous games were, the other, the, the other mechanics just, just don't work with it. They just, it just can't, it just can't do it, man. They can't do it, it can't run by itself like that. It just, it needs all those other mechanics to work in unison for it to become a truly excellent game. And I do hope it will become an excellent game as we uh, as we progress throughout the next couple months. But as it stands right now, I'm gonna have to say, please do wait to pick up the game. I, I my heart goes out to EgoSoft guys. I am sorry. I I'm, I'm terribly, terribly, terribly sorry about about what happened here. I'm not sure how this horrible, horrible mess could have happened. I don't know what design direction you thought was was gonna work here but it just it just doesn't it you you have to take the core mechanics that made your last game awesome and build off of them you can't go backwards you can't take those step backwards and you know alienate those awesome features or your your core crowd in that sense because then you're just you know there's nothing left 
in your effort to simplify it for for a new crowd you've actually made it so complicated and so you know terrible with the UI and all the features and how things are supposed to function and work that even the hard even me who's put th hundreds if not a thousand hours into the games spent 20 hours wandering around with face palming wondering what the fuck I was doing because I couldn't figure out half what the hell was going on how to do half these things I, I it, it just I couldn't figure out anything at all it was ridiculous it was like starting brand like over from scratch completely being kicked out back in the old black wander again and being and being like okay well figure it out for yourself having stations just be there where you know okay this has this function that has that function I can go there I can buy this I can sell it there hey I can see a mission icon from far away that I can go here get a mission that does this and go and not have to you know hover around the stations all the time trying to look okay is that a mission icon I don't think so there's no mission icons here okay let's go to the other station and hope that it has a mission icon uh, that I have to actually get close to find so yeah, all in all, it just suffers from way, way too many problems to be worth picking up right now. So uh, definitely, guys, check back in this game in a couple of months. I, I honestly have, I have great hope that they will advance it in some form or another to maybe breathe, you know, some form of life back into this game. But as it stands right now, I, I just can't recommend it. Even though I absolutely love the X series, I, you know. Ego, I've been a fat, just an absolute glorious fan of EgoSoft for many, many years. I, I, I can't, it, it's, I can't recommend this at all. It's, it's, it's broken. It's broken my poor gamer heart. It honestly has. I have been just greatly, greatly saddened by what this, what this has become. I hope that, like the previous X Games, they're just gonna patch it quickly, get all the major issues fixed, start just getting to work ASAP, getting, getting all these features resolved, getting the UI, you know, sorted out and simplified, giving us more options with controlling our ships and actually telling them what we want them to do giving us more direction about exactly how is it that we mine do we need drones we need to have do we need to specifically have that mining ship do we need uh, what do we need to get a station built what do we need to get this done so on and so forth we don't have that basic information it is not there's no uh, the tutorial doesn't properly cover a lot of that kind of stuff so yeah I have great great hope for the future of the game we'll wait and see what happens just hope that the AI gets fixed, that all these major issues get fixed. I honestly don't know how they're going to do it. I absolutely cannot possibly think of a way that they could fix all the just mass amounts of, you know, core features that are complete, completely unworkable at this point. But I have, I'm just, you know, one small part of me still holds a small star of hope towards it. So, you know, again to the X fans, I am so sorry. Guys, I'm I I I'm I hurt with you. I hurt with you, and let's just let's just all you know, get together, big old hug, and just pray, just pray that it can uh, it can pull itself out of this, out of this just nest of of hell that it has uh, found itself to be in, and uh, can rise once again from the ashes into an excellent X game that the previous uh, Empire Builder that the previous games have set a standard for. Because they are this, they are the standard for you know epic empire space building games. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully this wasn't too horrible for you, and I didn't derp out too much. It is quite late. It is insane for that, and I, I don't want this to sound like it's too bitching in that sense. Because I'm honestly not trying to do that as much. I'm just trying to you know warn you guys that this is in need of a lot of TLC, a whole lot of TLC before it will get to a state where we can love it again and be whole and complete once again. So thank you for watching and good luck EgoSoft guys. Silver Dragon out.